Hey, so good is Mr. Hanson back for the next math video. We are now in data analysis. We already talked about the mean last week. Now we're going into the median and range. So our essential question, how does the median and range describe a set of data? So we asked nine people to guess how many items were in a container. Their guesses are here. We have nine total students that we asked. We're going to find the median and the range. So what the median is, is this is review. The median represents the center of numerical data set. If there's an odd number of values, it is the middle value when arranged in numerical order, which means from least to greatest. Super important. Numbers have to be in order from least to greatest when we're talking about median. All right? If it is an even number of data values, then it's the average of the two middle numbers, which means you add them up and divide them by two, okay, when arranged again in numerical order. So, using this information here, we're going to list those numbers in order from least to greatest, all right? So here we go. The smallest number is 58. So I cancel that out. That way I make sure that I got all these data um, numbers from this data set. So I have 58. The next smallest is 65, which is over here. The next smallest would be 67. After that, we've got 70, we've got 75, we've got 77, we've got 81, we've got 84, 88, and of course 90. So now I listed them in order from least to greatest, and now I need to circle the number that is in the middle of my data list. So I can just kind of go from side to side, right? So, but since there's nine, if I count one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four in, okay, I can figure out my obviously total here. So one, two, three, four, it's not these four. So I can cancel out these four. I can cancel out these four, right? Again, when we have two in the middle, all right, we need to then take those two in the middle, add them together, and divide them by two. So I'm going to add 75 and 77 together on my calculator. I'm going to add those up, and I divide that number by two. So I divide them by two. That gets me my median, which is 76, all right? Now, if it had been an odd number, we could just cancel out until we got to the middle. But in this case, we have even, so we can't do that. All right, question four. So how would the median change if you guessed 50 was added to it? Well, if we think about this, if I add a smaller number, that means all these shift over. Now I have an odd number. So my mean, median would actually go this way, which means it's going down. So how would the median change if we added it to our data set? Okay it would lower our median, right? Most often, it would lower the median. Now, the range, okay, is the difference between the greatest and the least of the values in my data set. So, the difference between 90 and 58 means that we are subtracting. So I take 90, subtract 58 to get my range, which is 32, which means the range between that set of values is 32 total numbers. Question six, how would the range change again if we added 50? Well, if we added 50, this time the range would increase because from 90 to 50 is greater than from 90 to 58. So it would increase the range. Okay? Super important to know. If we added a lower number, most often times it lowers your median. If we added a higher number, it would raise the median. For range, if we get a lower or higher number, it just always increases it because it makes the difference between the smallest and the greatest larger, all right? And then question seven, count the number of items in the container. Well, we can't do that because we don't actually have a container. We're just saying it off this, all right? So that's it for this video. On the back side of this worksheet, questions eight, nine, 10, 11, all the way to question 17. That's your homework assignment on median. You're just putting the data set of values in order from smallest to largest. Find the middle number if it's odd. If it's an even number amount, you add the two middle numbers together, divide by two, you have your median, find the range, 
largest, smallest. There you have it. We'll see you next time.